Hey, what's up guys? In this video blog, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process of submitting a product to Code Canyon. And I have submitted a few products to Code Canyon before and they've been pretty successful. I have a product that's close to 2,000 sales and another product that's almost close to 1,000 sales. So this new product that I'm releasing is called Geek Shop and it is built using Laravel and the latest version of Voyager. And I thought I would submit the product to Code Canyon and kind of take you along for the ride. So I'll show you the process of submitting the product and I will also show you once it gets approved and then after maybe I get a few sales and I reply to some comments. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump in and check out the demo. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this demo pretty short. So Geek Shop is a script that you can install on your server and you can create a this is why I'm broke or shut up and take my money.com clone. So as you can see, you can scroll down, you can check out all these cool and geeky products. You can then click on the check it out button to click on the affiliate link and you can also click to save any of these items. So as you can see, you can scroll down, you can just keep on going through all of these cool and geeky products. So then if you were to click on one of those products, you can then be at the product page where you can see more images about the product and you can also see related items and leave comments. So then up here, if I were to go to my account, I can then go to my admin where I can add new products and posts because I'm logged in as an admin user. But if I'm not, then I just have my edit profile saves and log out. So I can then go to my saves and I can view all the products that I have saved for later. So maybe then I wanna check them out and maybe buy them or maybe even share them. So Geek Shop is a script that you can install on your server where you can add all these cool and geeky products and you can provide your affiliate link that other people can click and purchase from your affiliate link. So Geek Shop has been built on top of the Laravel Voyager admin. So if I were to go ahead and go to my admin, I can then put in my admin login here. and then I will be at my dashboard. And then I can go ahead and go to products where I can add, edit, and delete products. I can then go to categories, posts, pages, tools, settings, and everything else that you would expect in the Voyager admin. So when doing a product and releasing it on Code Canyon, it is super important to have good documentation. So that's kind of what I've been working on uh, tonight and um, about ready to wrap it up. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to submit my product to Code Canyon. So let me go ahead and kind of just show you what I have right now. So I don't know how well you can see this. Um, so I do have this on Dev Dojo, and if I scroll down here, you can see that we have the Geek Shop documentation. So you can click on Requirements, uh, Installation, Default Login, and then you can go through all the admin dashboard, and it will show you all the things that you need to do in order to add products and uh, just all the other functionality inside of Voyager. So yeah, make sure that you have good documentation because you're going to have a lot of people coming and asking questions and the less questions that you have, the easier that will make your life. Okay, so I've spent a majority of the day just testing out the app and making sure that everything functions correctly. Uh, made sure that I have all the images ready and the documentation. And now I am ready to submit my product to Code Canyon. So let's go ahead and walk through submitting your product. Okay, so I've just logged into my Code Canyon account. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go hover over my username and then I will see an upload button and I can go ahead and click on upload and that will take me to the upload section where I can upload my product. So I'm gonna choose a category and I'm going to choose PHP scripts. And I do have a document that's full of all this content like name and description, just so I, we don't have to sit there while I type the whole thing out. So I have the name here and I'm just gonna copy this and paste that in there. So then let me go ahead and add the description. I can then upload all of my files. And I do have all of my files ready here on the desktop. So I have my thumbnail, my inline preview, an optional video, screenshots, and the actual script itself. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just upload all these files. And I just went ahead and fast forwarded the uploads. So after we have uploaded all of our files, then we will go down here and we will specify which files belong to which. So the thumbnail is going to be my thumbnail.jpg. So I will select that from the dropdown. And then my inline preview image is going to be my inline preview. And the inline preview is the main image that you see when you go to a product page. So then I will select the main files and that is geekshop.zip. And then we have the screenshots and that is screenshots.zip. 
and finally the optional video preview. Actually that's the optional live preview, so I don't want to specify one for that, but the optional video preview, I do want to select that one. And then going down here, the category, I'm going to select for PHP scripts, I'm going to choose images and media. So you'll probably just want to choose a category that kind of fits your product a bit more. And then down here, high resolution, I did optimize it for HD, all the images and everything, so I'm going to select yes. And then compatible browsers, it should be everything IE8 and up, but it depends on how you have built your app. So I'm going to select all those, and then the files included, I'm just going to say that I'm including the JavaScript and the HTML. We have CSS, PHP, the SQL, and the less files. So then let's go ahead and go to software framework. And I did build this with the Laravel framework. So I'm going to choose Laravel. And the PHP versions that will be compatible is going to be PHP 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, and 7.0. And then any MySQL version right here should do. And I'm going to select a demo URL. So my URL is demo.devdojo.com. And I actually did build a redirect, so it will redirect out of this iframe. So whenever you preview a product on Code Canyon, a lot of times it has your product iframed and it has a buy now button with the Envato header at the top, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop out of that iframe and that has a slash redirect.php. So if I select that URL, it will automatically redirect out of that iframe and then just show this current version right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL and paste it right there. And then my video preview resolution, I know that it is 1280 by 720. And then I do have some tags that I have created. I'm just going to copy those and then paste it right in here. And you'll probably want to select some tags that are relevant to your product and this will help with SEO. And then down here for supporting your item, I'm going to say no because I don't want people to be or to have the option to get charged a little bit more for support through the Geek Shop comments. I want them actually to go to the devdoja.com slash forums, and that is where they will receive the support. So anybody who is a subscriber essentially will get premium support. And then scrolling down here, I can set the price. So I'm gonna set the price for $20. And then the buyer fee is $4. So when someone goes to buy this script, it will be $24. So $20 is what I will make, and then $4 essentially is what goes to Code Canyon. And then the extended license is a license that people can buy your product and they can use it in uh, possibly other applications or other things that they can then uh, resell. Uh, so I'm gonna set that to $100. And then message to the reviewer. I usually like to kind of leave a just message like, hey, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, look forward to hearing back from you soon. Okay, and then I do have to check that any images, video, and everything that I have included with my product is uh, my original creation. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that and then click on upload. Okay, and if all is well, then we'll get this message that says, congratulations, your file has been successfully uploaded, it will re be reviewed, and then you'll be notified once your product is made available. So that's the basics of submitting your product to Code Canyon. And now it's pretty much just a waiting game until we get a notification from them telling us that our application is available for sale in the market. So today is uh, Wednesday and I submitted the product on Sunday. So it's been like three days, but this is usually to be expected. Um, like I said, it could take like a week for them to submit the product or it could take a week for them to uh, approve the product. So um, yeah, right now it's just a waiting game, but I don't mind waiting. That gives me some time to just make sure that the documentation is all good and uh, to make sure that the product is still fully tested. I haven't made any changes to the actual code, but um, you can never do too much testing. So I can try on different machines. Um, I can just check out different browsers and uh, just continually check out the functionality of the app. So uh, I will probably talk to you next once it's been approved and uh, I will talk to you then.
ironically, after I got done creating that video saying that it's just a waiting game and I had to wait to hear back from Code Canyon, uh, then I went ahead and checked on the Code Canyon page and I see that the Geek Shop product is on there. So it did take three days, so I submitted it on Sunday and now it is available on Wednesday. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Okay, so to edit my product, as you can see, I have these tabs up here. Since this is one of my products, I have item details, reviews, comments, support, and then I have this edit button. So I can go ahead and click on edit, and this is where I can edit information about my product. So I can say update item and tags, update description and price. So I want to go ahead and update the description right here. And instead of just providing all this text right here, I also want to include an image. And I have a nice image that is created right here and that's a little too small for you to see right now, but it does have all kinds of information about the product itself. So I'm going to add this image to the page. So I'm just gonna copy this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just add it probably to the bottom of this copy. So I'm just gonna say image source equals, and then paste that right in there. So let me go ahead and just scroll down and I can update all the information about the product that had originally set, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say save changes. And now if I look at the product page, now I see that we have this description here, but we also have this image that as they scroll down, they can find out a lot more information about the product. So just having more information about your product will let people know more about it and it will intrigue them to uh, want to purchase it. So uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and reply to some comments and uh, hopefully wait until I get some sales in. So I released the product yesterday and after I released the product, then uh, I got one sale and then this morning I woke up and I still had one sale, so I was like, okay, you know, it's going a little slow, but that's cool. Um, even one sale a day is still great. Um, but then I started getting notifications on my phone because I installed an app that sends me notifications every time I get a sale. And um, I started getting quite a few notifications. And uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, but that is eight sales. So it's a pretty good start. I'm pretty excited about that. and. Uh, First day, already at eight sales, so we'll continue to see how it goes. So if we go to Code Canyon and we hover over the PHP scripts and we go to popular items, and then we go ahead and scroll down a little bit, and what do you know, there's Geek Shop right there. So Geek Shop, 13 sales. So we are on the popular PHP scripts and that's pretty exciting. So as you have just seen, I landed on the popular PHP scripts page on Code Canyon, which is really, really cool. So today is Sunday and I released the product on Code Canyon last Sunday and it has gotten 13 sales since it has been approved on Wednesday. So uh, it's pretty cool to see that uh, this product is going to be used by other people and uh, I hope that this video has encouraged you and inspired you to possibly create a product yourself and release it on Code Canyon. You got to see the whole process from submitting the product to getting approved and then getting some sales. So I really hope you've enjoyed the video and I will talk to you in a future video.